What's up guys, it's Verix here and today I'm bringing you guys a new video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a nice thumbnail. So what you guys want to do is you want to click the uh, quick selection tool, it's going to be this one right here, or you can click W, and you just want to select your gun or whatever you want to cut out for your thumbnail. So I'm just doing a little CSGO little thumbnail thing, and yeah, I'm just going to cut out this gun. And then once you have that uh, cut out, you want to click Control C, Control V, and then you can just uh, disable the um, the viewing for this one, and then this will show up. And what you want to do, if it's like not as smooth, you want to click the uh, the erasing, the eraser tool. Uh, it's also E, and then you just want to like um, just go around it so it's just a little smoother. And if you mess up, you can click Control Z, and um, you can just redo it again. Or you can also click control, click on the picture, and you want to do filter, or you want to do select, modify, smooth, and then you do sample radius to 2, and then control C, control V, and then there it is. And then you can just delete this other, um, the, uh, other layer, and then you can just do that, and it's pretty smooth. So then what you want to do is you want to double click on the pistol or whatever you're using, and you want to, do, you want to click drop shadow. And you want to make the opacity 50, and you want to make the distance 0, the spread to 40, and the size to 60. So 0, 40, 60. After that, what you want to do is you want to click stroke, and then make sure the color is white, and then make this 7. Oh, that's too big. 7. Like that. And that's a good size. After that, you just want to add some text. Uh, okay, that's loading. All right, and what I'm going to be using is I'm just going to be using Kenyan coffee. And for right now, I'm going to be using the italic, uh, just a simple. And I'm just going to do um, thumbnail. Oh, you make sure you do not want to have it lowercase because the lowercase doesn't really look that nice. So just thumbnail, and then you could just scale it by clicking Control T, and you could just scale it by how much or how big you want it. I'll put it right there. And then one thing I forgot to do is when I click on the layer, I'm going to do filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then make sure it's at 5. And there you go. I don't know why that's like offset, but I do not know why that's like offset. But um, yeah, here, I just fix it by making it bigger. And then now what you want to do is you want to go back to the text, make sure this is white, because um, so you can see it better. And then there you go. And then you want to have another layer under it, and you could. I'm just gonna make it tutorial because this is what this is a tutorial. I'm gonna make this one a bold italic, and like that. And then I'm I'm just gonna make this bigger, like as big as this. So um, do this again. Um, like this. This is, this looks nice. So then you want to go to your thumbnail or whatever you're going to do, and then you want to do an inner shadow, and then make this, uh, like, 20, and it's good. And then a gradient overlay, and then make this one 20 as well, so it looks nice. Alright, then you want to go to your tutorial, you want to highlight everything right there, and then you can just make this whatever color you want. I'm going to be doing a blue, uh, let me just go to a blue, and there you go. And then you want to double clap or double click it. You want to do gradient, and then you want to do uh, I think it's overlay. Yeah, overlay. And then you just want to make the opacity like make it go down. And then there's your color. And then what you want to do is this is optional. Um, I I personally don't do it, but you want to go to your inner shadow, and then you want to make this 20 as well. And I actually don't do this, but uh, for right now I'm just gonna do it right now. And this is what you should have for right now. And then what you want to do is you want to click Control and cl uh, and click both of your uh, text. I'm gonna click Control J, and then that's and that will copy it. And then you want to drag that under. And then what you want to do is once you drag it down, you want to click both of them, and then you want to merge layers. And then what you want to do is make sure you make sure it's rasterized, and then you want to go to Select, or make sure you click on this first on the uh, picture. And then you click Select, Modify, Expand, and you want to expand it by 20. Some people do it like 30s, 40s, and I personally think it's too big. 
but then what you want to do is you just want to make sure you select your color you want to click alt backspace and there you go and then you want to click alt d or control d and that's what it should be so far then after you want to double click it go to stroke make sure this is white and you want to make this seven again seven is a really good um, number for it and you want to have a drop shadow and again you want to make this uh or you can make this like a hundred opacity and then the distance is zero spread 40 and spread uh 60. click ok and there you go and then what i like to do is i just go to the layer and i just do a gradient overlay and i go here gradient make the black right here the lower or darker one make sure it's that color click ok then make it a over overlay like that and then i just lower the opacity you can also have another color here if you were going to do another color here make sure it's a darker color uh let me just make this one darker bang like that and that's looking pretty nice and then you can make these into a group by clicking control g and then you can just name this text to make it more organized why did i do it like that text like that and then make sure your layer 3 of the picture you're using is above it and then you want to click you want to click the or folder and you want to click control t and then you can just make it bigger or and then you can just arrange it see how how you like it so for right here here it is so far and it's just kind of looking bland over here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to google and then i'm just gonna look up like a kid png make sure it's png to make it like a transparent and everyone usually uses this one and for right now i'm just gonna use it uh just for the tutorial and i'm gonna go here go to photoshop file open desktop uh let me click on the, the kid there you go just drag this into there and uh here you go and there so what you want to do is to make it easier you want to go to your first like first um thing that you edited right click it click copy layer style and then go to your layer 4 or whatever like the kid that you just use and click paste layer and it just pasted it for you and then you can just move it around see where you like it and then make sure these like to make it look better make sure the text is above everything and it's kind of looks like that but for right now um, the text is like covering everything up so I'm just gonna make this one smaller and so it doesn't really cover everything up like that and then I click a new layer and then you just want to do whatever color you want so I'm just gonna make this one white and then I'm gonna go to the brush tool and then you could just make it oh well, that's too big but you can just make it pretty big and then um, and then you just want to like color around it so it's like it has a little like texture like like what I'm doing right now and you can also get a darker color um, get black I'm gonna put black right here there oh I don't like it there but um, yeah and then you could also get a blue the color that you were using and put a blue there and yeah but make sure the text is above everything because it looks better with the text up top you can also put this on overlay and it'll look like that but I don't really like it on overlay I like it like on screen or something or you, yeah like that and then you can just like lower the opacity like that and then now you want to make the border so you want to go here and then you want to like zoom out it depends on how big you want your border so I'm gonna do it like this like so it's like matched up perfectly and then you want to go down to the other side make sure it's like that oh come on let me go yeah make sure it's like that make the fill none and then double click on this and then you want to do a drop shadow or not a drop shadow inner shadow i meant and then uh make sure that's zero oh make sure that's zero 40 60 like that and then you want to go to your um what's it called you want to go to your stroke make sure this is a white one and then make sure it like just put the size all the way up and put the blend mode to overlay and there you go and then you can just change the opacity of how like bright you want it so for me this uh this is too big so i'm just gonna make it like a little smaller that and then that over there like this 
and then I'm just gonna lower the uh, thumbnail tutorial to like right here so the border doesn't cover it so this is how uh, it is so far and then what you want to do is just you want to select everything click uh, merge layers and then you want to duplicate the layer and then you want to go to filter other I pass make sure the radius is 10 and then make it overlay uh, overlay and then you can just lower the opacity and that's pretty much it and um, but yeah that's pretty much the video please leave a like if you guys enjoyed and a comment if this helped you and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys